One of the most telling impacts on the well-being of girls is that of teen pregnancy. We already know that early pregnancy hampers the psychosocial development of girls, contributes to poor health outcomes, negatively affects their educational and employment opportunities, and is a predictor of intergenerational poverty in households. While Latin America and the Caribbean has the second highest adolescent pregnancy rates in the world in the age cohort 15 to 19 years, the Pan American Health Organization confirms that it is the only region with an estimated increasing trend in pregnancy in girls younger than 15 years. PAHO cautions that the reduction of adolescent pregnancy requires ensuring universal access to sexual and reproductive health care services, including access to family planning information and education. We knew this before the pandemic, and these issues have become even more critical during the height of the pandemic. The already limited access to sexual and reproductive health and rights information and services were further minimized and in some cases made non-existent and totally inaccessible due to lockdown measures and shifting of funding from those and other programs to COVID-19 responses. With school closures due to the pandemic, girls were severely at risk for early sexual initiation, unintended pregnancies, school dropout, and economic hardship. 